Hello, I wish you a good day and I hope everything is fine. This is something which puzzled me for quite a while. It's basically a mesh network. These little boxes here cons uh, describe the mesh network, the M-A-S-H that is, this icon world here or up here, mesh, and the lines connect the, uh, the cubes. Now, uh, I wanted to know what shall we do with this, because it's sort of an environment or a, a surface, so I can select a face, but I can't see it. When I render this scene in Arnold, lights, sky dome light, and just do a quick render, I only see the, uh, the, the cubes. So what is this about? Well, I asked this question um, to one of the MASH developers, Ian Waters, that is, and he pointed me to a video which basically stated this is not about making geometry, it's meant to do something else. And uh, this is his video. What he's basically doing is he's using this command, this utility, in order to fill the character and later he binds it to the skin of the or to the bones, uh, I don't remember, of that character and uh, that's what it's meant for. I don't really know what the purpose is here but uh, he finally ends up with these things so he needs that as an intermediate object. Um, well, thank you Ian, that doesn't help me to create geometry here. And uh, I show you briefly the way how to get there and then I solve the problem for you. So let's create a new scene. You need a mesh network and in order to uh, use this button here and uh, or this, this menu here you need uh, some kind of uh, geometry. So let's start with a, uh, with a cube. The cube is always nice because if you want to ignore the network later you don't need to see that object and the most simple object is probably the, the plane but the cube is almost as simple. So uh, let's go to the mesh network now and with this selected we create a mesh network. 10 instances. I go from the mesh node here to the distribute node. Instead of linear we want <laughs> Uh, spherical distribution describes a sphere. We can have m many more. I don't want to overpopulate them right now uh, because I'm going to do the network thing now. So we need not to select that part here, the repro mesh, but the mesh waiter as it's called, this one here. And now we go to uh, the utilities here under mesh and here we have create mesh from points. Let's meditate a little bit on this command here. It's under mesh. Utilities create mesh from points. You need the mesh system selected in order to use it. And now it uh, creates lines between the objects. Let's hide the repro mesh. That's what I meant by if we just pick a simple geometry like a cube. So this is quite an interesting object really but I didn't know what to do with it. So I posted a, a request on the Maya area of Autodesk. I asked hi there I'm playing with the mesh utilities one is called create mesh from points works just fine however what do I do with it or more specifically how can I create actual geometry from those mesh points and triangles and space. Thanks. It took only I think half a day or so and Sean Heasley uh, answered once you've created or modified the shape and uh, geo that you want to develop you go to modify convert convert displacement to polygons. Odd because I have no displacement here but let's try it out. Anyway, let me know if this helps or if you need more assist, uh, assistance and of course I accepted this as a solution because it did work. Extremely helpful. Doesn't it look cool? And I sent a rendered image here which looks like that. And that's what we'll see in a second. Let's go back to Maya then. And uh, so with these things here selected uh, we go to modify 
convert and now displacement to polygons. I would never have thought about this. And here we are. I don't know what you make out of this, but um, it shows you ways to use something in a different way as it's originally planned. And I think hardly anybody uses it anyway, but I think you can go from here. I don't know where. And also this tutorial is supposed to tell you Post your questions in the Maya area. You get competent replies. It's a wonderful forum of competent and very helpful people. Bye-bye.